Hey guys, the WD Red is 189 on Amazon Prime. Admittedly with great returns and two hour delivery. But I decided to go to Simlim to visit those old ailing shops and um, buy two four terabyte discs and UltraFit. So, so the UltraFit would be my uh, sort of like my boot drive and these four terabyte ones would be in a mirror sort of raid configuration. I think I did my calculations here. I mean, price per gigabit is the lowest for the four terabyte in May 2018. And I bought it from, who did I buy it from? Cybermind. So I've got to mount these things inside here and uh, we'll see how that goes. Actually, the what, one thing I, I found a bit awkward is that no, no one had screws. And the screws I found in Simlim Tower look a bit long, but the Seagate 4 terabyte um, Iron Wolf was also $170 for 4 terabytes, but I just I haven't seen very good reviews for them online. And it is a bit dumb to buy the same drive, I feel. Uh, interestingly, I mean, it's May 2018. This was manufactured on the 2nd of May 2018. Product of Thailand. So, so, so was the Iron Wolf, uh, to be honest. I, I just read that the WD Reds were quieter and I, I just... I just don't trust Seagate, basically. So I couldn't, I couldn't go through with it. So I've got two drives the same. Um, I'll, I'll put them in a mirror configuration initially. To be honest, let's see how um, FreeNest does when it uploads to S3, I think that'll be interesting. So the warranty is three years, three year warranty, um, but they said if there's a problem, I have to take it to like Tao Payo with this RMA thing. It's just a bit crap. I, 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 and these companies wonder why um, Amazon are taking their lunch. There's this little tool set from Stanley. It's kind of useful. Once in a blue moon. <laughs> Probably took a year of my life there. <laughs> I, I managed to get the caddy on there, but uh, I guess the problem with this screwdriver is that there's just like no torque. So I had to really like power it in there. I don't, I don't know how good idea this is, but I got one on the far left and I think I'm going to mount this one on the far right as to give them you know, the, the most spaced um, configuration so that they can, I don't know, not overheat each other or something weird. Spinning things should be a part, I guess. I think you're right. I must say, when these caddies don't have anything inside them, they're a bit weird. So there's, these two, are, the two middle ones are empty. Awesome! The packaging on this ultra fit is kind of cute. Somewhat cute. So, Jesus. One Ethernet cord. There is no wireless support. A blank CD or USB drive <laughs> to put the FreeNAS setup file on. One thumb drive that is at least 8 gigabytes to install FreeNAS on. An SSD or HDD is possible, but not recommended. The FreeNAS I have sold from our website. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to download. install. A separate computer for laptop with a web. Boo! Don't do hardware raid, is what I'm told again and again. Boot to the bloody USB key, guys. FreeBSD. Oh. I'm booting the free NAS installer, guys. <sighs> Lots of crap on the display. Install. Okay, I'm installing into the UltraFit. 
Okay. Do this. Yes. Password. Just going with the default. I'm hoping to bond these two network ports. There's also a network port for this ILO thing, which is like the remote management thing, which scares the heck out of me. Um, according to my YouTube comments, I can't disable it. But um, I'm hoping I can bond the two gigabit um, network ports there. So hopefully I can get as much as something close to 200 meg a second out of this thing. That'd be sweet. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Reboot system and remove the media. This is my free NAS media. So I'm installed on the Ultra Fit there, very low profile USB stick. God, this is slow. Oh my. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> it's a bit too bright. It's, it's 20 to 6. Why am I up so early? How, does, how do I disable this stuff? It's, I'm going to be patient, see where this goes. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's getting there. 2018, nice. What's happening here? A bit slow, isn't it? I'm a bit worried the USB interface is a bit slow, error prone for, for the root system, but uh, let's just see how it goes, I guess. It's nice and quiet. It's got an IP. 29. Oh, it's looking for an IP in my second link. Can't it detect that there's, <laughs> there's no cable in there? I guess I should now Go into my micro tick and make sure this is a static IP. <sighs> this is going to take a long time. Jesus Christ. Okay, just, just as I stopped it. It's doing stuff. Oh. What's up? Sorry, I got distracted. 2-9. Okay, here I am. Root. Uh, don't say time zone. Um, Asia. I hate these data lists that never work. I am in Asia, Singapore. Okay. Uh, should I give it a name? Do I need to give it a name? Feel this card. I give it uh, red. Confirm. So I went with the defaults. Is that the ZFS thing? Let's see what it does. I'm going for crypto. Hopefully there's no overhead because it's only a Celeron. I mean, like if I die in a car crash, I, I kind of want, want people to be able to recover my photos and, and you know, like without a password. <laughs> um, um, How do I see in my discs? View discs, okay. What RAID type am I running? I have no idea. Perhaps one of you guys can tell me. Anyway, that's my free NAS install. I hope that wasn't too boring. I hope I can edit it down to make it exciting. But yeah. Hopefully you guys can fill in the cracks. Bye guys, please like the video.